Hello, welcome back to Big Son's Lawn Care. Ronaldo here, trying something a little different here. Um, not gonna tell you what I'm recording it on um, because it's a first. So we're gonna see how it works out, okay? But all right, got some new subscribers uh, to Big Son's Lawn Care, and we have Grampy's Workshop. Welcome to Big Son's Lawn Care. We have Fierce Chapman. I believe I'm saying that correct. And we have East. I think that's East Atlanta. I think that's how that goes there. Right? And that's what our topic is today. Pricing and how much will our market bear? Everybody's talking about pricing, man. I mean, you know, and then it's not the elephant in the room because we got to consider it. Uh, it's the 1st of March, man. It's a beautiful day here in the 757. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Uh, Going to be in the upper 60s uh, just about all this week except for Friday. I think it jumped, dropped down to maybe uh, 40 or something like that. But, okay. How much will our market bear? Do we have the type of business that, you know, like the gas station? We got to have it. They, I don't care how high it go. We can complain and do all we want. We're going to pay for that gas somehow. We just may not drive as far. But will a person do the same for their lawn? Or will they just say, forget it. Scratch that lawn guy, you know, um, I'm going to buy a lawnmower or whatever. My son, my uncle, my cousin, I'm going to get a robot, whatever. Do we have that type of business we can just keep going up, keep going up, that they're going to still demand us? I don't know. So, you know, I'm looking at pricing, and of course, hey, I know it's something we all have to deal with sooner or later, you know. Now, uh, straight across the board, you know, I know some guys, you know, doing like, a $5 increase, hey, that's cool. Uh, what I've learned is what I see on YouTube and what I have to do, totally different sometimes. So I get a lot of great things from YouTube. It has really helped me along the way. But I have to find where to draw that line and find out what works right for Big Son and what keeps Big Son's pocket happy and face smiling. Okay, but how do you feel about that, man? I mean, how far can we go? Um, before people just say, uh, nope, not dealing with you anymore. And sure, it's always the $25 guy, the $35 guy. I've been that guy before. Trust me, I've been there. But am I a guy now? No. Do I have $20 yards? Yeah. But look at my video on how. Okay. But look, this is what I really want to talk about. I want to give you an example of um, what I've done. Man, before and, and and sometimes, man, I've tried to um, to deter, and it normally happens right about June, July, August, September, in those months when it gets up above ninety, and you out there for all day, and you always get either that neighbor or that person around the corner that's either got a lawnmower issue, or hey, it's just too hot, and they're like, can you please? Come and do my yard today. And you say, well, where do you stay? And then they're like, right down the street, you know. How tall is your yard? Is it the same? Okay, I'll be right there over to look at it, you know. And in them situations, I'm going to tell you what I've done. Sometimes it has worked, but more often, I fail at it. You know what it is? I price it super high. Number one, I'm maxed out for the day almost. Number two, it's 100 degrees. Number three, I'm dead tired and really want to go home. You know, I'm really not interested. And I have tried to double. I lie to you not. I have doubled my neighborhood price just for them to say, okay, well, I'm not paying you. You know, who are you? I'm not going to pay you $80, you know, to cut my yard. And they'll say, when can you do it? I've seen it happen more than once. So just a little story. Um, hey, how far can we go? Um, now, I know that wouldn't work with everybody. 
But I'm saying I have done that more than once. And people have just said, hey, when can you do it? I've done that with mulch jobs because I hate mulch jobs. I've done that with rock jobs because, hey, I don't want to carry rocks any longer. And I'll double the price. I mean, I'm going to get some calls in the next couple of weeks for those strange jobs. Mulch, rocks, um, uh, 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 large tree limbs and branches. I just want to do some trimming, knock off the, the edges with, you know, let me see if I can show it. You know, that's it. I just want to use this, which is battery powered. Keep it moving. You know, I'm not trying to break out a saw and chop down limbs and haul them away. So I'll give a crazy off-the-wall price just to, you know, and they'll say, okay, when can you do it? So how far can we go? Take care.